Hi, it's Lisa again. And after we have downloaded a book uh, from Bookshare for a student, we need to move that book onto a student's laptop. And that's what this video is going to be all about. You will learn how to move a book onto a student laptop so that the student can use Read Out Loud to actually have the book read to him or her. So let's get started. If you remember, I told you to create a folder, and here it is, for your Bookshare books. And I'm going to move mine way over to the left just for demonstration purposes. And I'm going to open it to show you what's in there. I have a couple of students who are using Bookshare books. Ben is and Sue is. So I actually organized inside the folder, um, two folders. and. I know Sue wants to read The Fall of Giants, so I'm actually going to move that right into her folder. Now the way I did that was to click on it, drag it, and drop it on her folder. Avoid double clicking. You do not want to double click on that file. Alright, I have to move that book onto a uh, thumb drive so I can give it to Sue. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a thumb drive. And in just a second, you're going to see that thumb drive show up. It's right here. And it is called my Bookshare thumb drive. And I'll double click on it. And I'll move the window over a little bit. And you will see that I have a folder for Ben's books and a folder for Sue's books on my thumb drive, just so I can keep them organized there as well. I'm going to open up Sue's folder. And remember, I said click drag and drop. I'm going to click, drag, and drop it onto Sue's folder. And if I open her folder, I'll see it is now there. I can close up my Bookshare folder that's on my laptop. It's right here. And now I need to eject my thumb drive. There's a couple of ways I can do that. I can click this up arrow and it will eject my thumb drive. Or I can close this and I can drag my thumb drive to the trash and it will eject it. Now I'm ready for a student machine. So we're looking at a student machine and a student desktop and the first thing I want you to notice is that there is a Bookshare Books folder. Just like you have, the student should have one as well. And then the next thing I want you to notice, and I'm going to zoom, zoom in a little bit, is that I'm going to open that folder and I'm going to create a new folder in there. And to create a new folder, you go up under File, New Folder, and I'm going to call this Fall of Giants. Okay, That's the title of the book that I just downloaded for the student. I'm going to make this a little smaller so you can see what I'm doing here. So this is my Bookshare Books folder. I'm going to put them right together right here on the left hand side. Now I'm going to insert the thumb drive into the student machine. And once the icon appears, I'm going to open up that thumb drive. So here's my Bookshare thumb drive, and I'm going to double click it. I'm going to move it over here to the right a little bit. And let me just move my Bookshare icon under it so you can tell which place I'm working. So let me just move this over. So this is the student right here on the left, their, their Bookshare Books folder. And then here's the folder called Fall of Giants. It's in this Bookshare Books folder. And here is my thumb drive with my students' books on it. I'm going to uh, open up Sue's books. And just like before, I'm going to do a click, drag, and drop and I'm going to click on this Fall of Giants and I'm going to drag it over and put it into the Fall of Giants over here. So watch. Click, drag, drop. Now if I open the folder I can see it's there as well. So now I can disconnect, uh, eject my thumb drive by clicking this up arrow or moving my Bookshare icon to the trash. So let's close this. Let's drag this to the trash. And now I simply have my Bookshare, the student has the Bookshare Books folder 
a folder inside of it called Fall of Giants, and then the zipped file. And you have successfully moved a book from your laptop to the student's laptop.